New Jersey People with Steve Adubato has been made possible by the St. Barnabas Healthcare System. I go into failing hairdressing salons and failing for many reasons. Sometimes financial, sometimes managerial, sometimes not being able to control and lead their staff. And I have a week to uncover the problems and turn them around. And the book? Well, the book isn't about hair. You know, right. I, I had this overwhelming response of support for the show and people asking me questions about how did I get into the business and why, why am I so honest and what makes a good leader and personal questions that they had about me that like kind what? of... Like what? do they want to know? Because um, you wanted... are tough on the show. I am tough. I like your style. Well, thank you. i very straightforward and my staff, I know you're behind the scenes and you're saying... Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> um, I'm very straightforward now, probably to a fault, but you're extremely direct. I am very direct. Where'd that come from? It definitely came from my mother. My mother was very direct and she was a very strong businesswoman. And as I've grown and matured and now I'm a business owner myself, I realize that the only way to be is direct because if you don't give a direct message to people, they don't really know what the message is. They interpret it how they want as opposed to following the message that you're giving them. So you have to be direct. So it's interesting. I'll often say to people, when you say to someone, hey, you really ought to step up and work harder. Well, that doesn't mean anything. No. Exactly. <laughs> if you say, listen, here's what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. I want the notes for the shows. This, I want them two days before mm -hmm. this particular time, and that's what I need in order to get ready. Is there any confusion about that? But well, they don't like it because it's direct. People don't like it because it's direct, but here is what I've found, and I'm sure you have as well. When you are direct with people, they know, A, what to do because you've told them, and B, they can be held accountable. So when they do drop the ball, or if they do drop the ball, you can go back and say, we were very clear. I needed you to do A, B, and C, and you only did A and C. What happened to B? We were clear. You agreed. Now you're accountable. Well, what's the problem in so many of these salons? Because a lot of my friends, uh, I, I happen to come from New Jersey, and uh, Gina B, who's over, I'm not going to start plugging uh, salons, but you know who you are, because you always, they were all excited that I had you on the show. <laughs> you're going to really meet her? Yeah, of course they're going to meet her. And I'll tell you, what's fascinating to me is so many of the folks I know who run salons, people who work in salons, they love the hair thing. They love the salon thing. But some of them are not very good at business. Is that a common thing? It can be a common thing, and I think actually it's common not just within my industry of the hair industry, but also small business. I think what people do is think, I'm a great hairdresser. Like and an I, artist. I have, I'm, an artist. I'm an artist. I have all these people sitting in my chair. I do great work. They come back to me. Why should I make money for someone else? Running a business is easy. But they haven't educated themselves on what goes into that. They don't know sometimes how to balance a checkbook. Mm. They don't know how much money they need. They don't know how to write a policy manual, how to manage their staff, how to hold them accountable, all while they're doing their clients and making sure their business is successful. And that I have found that that's a problem, yes, in my industry, but it's also rampant in other industries. I mean, I get letters all the time from people saying, I own a boutique, I own a restaurant, I own a coffee shop, I own this. I went into it because I love coffee, mm. great, but I don't know how to run a business. Loving coffee is not enough. Loving hair, loving TV is not enough to be successful in those respective industries, not even close. No, I think for me, passion is one of the most important but passion things. Passion in what? Well, you passion have to for have, what? You have to have passion for your industry. Okay. So I believe that you have to have that passion for the industry that you're in because that gets you out of bed every morning and that should want you to exceed and mm. excel at what you do. But when it talks about moving it into a business, you need to know how to run a business, how to manage staff, how to lead staff.